academic writing. The same sentences beginning with it. Types of le clauses. Lecture 8. Lecturer Normano Schnarkantarbayana. The objectives of the lecture are to clarify sentences beginning with it, to define special verb tenses in that clauses, to define if whether clauses, question clauses. The plan of the lecture. The first, sentences beginning with it, special verb tenses in that clauses, if whether clauses, question clauses. The following terms are used in the course of lecture, such as question, tenses, beginning, sentences, special, whether, verb, etc. So, a noun clause is a dependent clause that functions as a noun. A noun clause is often part of an independent clause where it can be a subject or an object. It, uh, it can also follow certain adjectives and nouns. There are three kinds of noun clauses. That clauses, which begin with the word that, if whether clauses, which begin with the words whether or if, and question clauses, which begin with a question word such as who, what, where, when, or how. A that clause is a dependent noun clause that begins with the word that. For example, the young filmmaker hopes that his film will be a financial success. A that clause can appear in different locations. The first, after the independent clause verb, the most common position of a noun clause is after the verb of the independent clause where it functions as the object of that verb. After certain adjectives, a that clause can also follow certain adjectives, such as happy, glad, proud, pleased, sad, upset, worried, sorry, certain, surprised and sure. After certain nouns, a Z clause can follow certain nouns such as an idea, theory, thought, claim, assertion, statement, belief, notion and opinion. At the beginning of a sentence, a Z clause at the beginning of the sentence functions as the subject of the independent clause verb. Sentences beginning with it. Starting a sentence with a noun clause seems awkward to many English speakers. So they often rewrite such statements by putting it at the beginning and moving the noun clause to the end. That earth is getting warmer is certain. It is certain that earth is getting warmer. In addition, the verb following it, except be or any intransitive verb like seem or appear, is often written in the passive voice, especially in academic writing. For example, it is believed that carbon di dioxide is responsible for global warming. It is agreed that the meeting would be postponed until next week. You can also write the sentences in the active voice. Many scientists believe that carbon dioxide is responsible for global warming. The participants agreed that the meeting would be postponed until next week. Note. In general, English writers prefer an active voice because it is more direct. However, they prefer the passive voice in specific situations. You want to emphasize what happened, not who did it. For example, Jack was promoted last month. The second, the performer of the action is unknown. The wheel was invented during the Bronze Age. Special verbs in that clauses. One of the most common uses of noun clauses in academic writing is to report that someone else has said or written. This kind of noun clause is called reported speech, indirect speech or indirect quotation. Verb tenses in reported speech follow special rules. If the main clause verb is simple present, present perfect, or future, the verb in the noun clause is the tense that expresses the meaning that the main clause intends. The Prime Ministers agree that global warming is a serious world problem. They hope that all nations will be responsible for solving this problem. 
If the main clause verb is in the past tense, the verb in the noun clause is usually a past form. For example, the Prime Ministers agreed that global warming was a serious world problem. Exception. The verb in the noun clause stays in the present tense when it reports a fact or a general truth. For example, researchers in the field verified that icebergs and glaciers are melting. If weather clauses. An if weather clause is a dependent noun clause that begins with a subordinator whether or if. Whether is more formal than if. The optional phrase or not may be added into places with whether and in one place if. Therefore, there are five possible patterns. The pattern wanted to know whether Dr. Chen practiced acupuncture. The patient wanted, wants to know if Dr. Chen practices acupuncture. Notice that if weather clauses are statements, not questions, even though they are made from yes-no questions that can be answered yes or no. If weather clauses use statement, word order, subject verb, and do not contain do, does, or did. To change a question into an if weather clause, add a subordinator if or whether Change the word order to statement word order and delete do, does, and did if necessary. Question clauses. A question clause is a dependent noun clause that begins with a subordinator such as who, what, when, where, why, how, how much, how long, and so on. There are two possible patterns. In the first pattern, the subordinator is the subject of the clause. For example, the police do not know who committed the robbery. In the second pattern, the subordinator is not the subject of the clause. The police do not know when the robbery happened. Notice that the word order in the question clauses is statement order, subject plus verb, not question order verb plus subject. Also, question clauses do not contain do, does, or did because they are not questions even though they begin with a question word. To change a question into a question clause, change the word order to statement word order and delete do, does, and did if necessary. Question. What time is it? Sentence with question clause. Please tell me what time it is. How did the robbers enter the apartment? The police wanted to know how the robbers entered the apartment. Follow the sequence of tenses rules if necessary. If the independent clause verb is in, past, in the past tense, the verb in the noun clause should be also in the past tense. The victims didn't know how the robbers had entered the apartment. So, there are important points covered in this lecture. A noun clause is a dependent clause like that acts like a noun. Noun, noun clause. For example, John asked a question. John asked which chapters the exam would cover. A noun clause can act as a subject, an object, or a, su or a subject complement. That clauses can also follow certain adjectives and nouns. The most common position of a noun clause is after the verb of the main independent clause. Starting a sentence with a noun clause is awkward. English speakers usually rewrite these sentences so that they begin with it and end with the noun clause. That the professor cancelled the exam surprised us. It surprised us that the professor cancelled the exam. Whether the professor will re reschedule the exam is uncertain. It is uncertain whether the professor will reschedule the exam. Passive voice is often used in these kinds of statements, especially in academic writing. It was only once believed by many that Earth was flat. When a noun clause reports that someone asked or said, you must follow the sequence of tenses, rules for reported speech. Following verbs and adjectives indicating urgency, advisability, 
necessity and desirability, use the base form of the verb in the noun clause. This kind of noun clause is called a subjunctive noun clause. It is necessary that students be on time for the final exam. Noun clauses use statement wet order even when they begin with a question wet. They also do not contain do, does or did because they are not questions. Commas are not used in noun clauses. In summary, so it is put at the beginning and the noun clause is moved to the end. The verb following it often written, is written in the passive voice. When it is necessary to report that someone else had said or written this kind of noun clause is a reported, spe reported speech, D indirect speech or indirect quotation. And if whether clause is a dependent noun clause that begins with a subordinator whether or if. A question clause is a dependent noun clause that begins with a subordinator. The weather, the verb in the noun clause, always in the present tense when it reports a fact or a general truth. So, while getting for the lecture, get ready, be answered to answer the following questions. What is one of the most common uses of noun clauses in the academic writing? The second. What is a question clause? Are if where the clause is questions? Why do English writers prefer the active voice? How will you change a question to a question clause? And to use the following sources. Book Alice Oshima and Hook, Writing Academic English and the following sites.